What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another diecast model review. Today we are looking at the Itolari 1 in 100 scale F35A uh, Lightning. Um, I'm very excited to get this one. Itolari models are very hard to get. It is one of my favorite uh, diecast model uh, companies and diecast models just because of the scale. I really love the 1 in 100 scale. Um, it, it doesn't fill up a shelf and I think Itolari uh, does a great job with the level of detail. Um, they don't feel flimsy at all. They're just great models. Um, right now, I actually found a seller in Italy because obviously Itolari is a uh, Italian company, so he's been getting a lot more of these in stock, even though they're discontinued. So I do have the F35B, uh, the Marine Corps variant, um, that is the Stovall or Vital. Um, version of the F35 so check out my channel I'll put a link in the description below so you can see that one and see what the differences are between the two um, so that one I've seen more uh, prevalent on eBay the F35B so when I saw that the F35A uh, popped up on his uh, site I immediately grabbed it just because I wanted to get both versions and again uh, Itolari being my favorite uh, you know, model company up there with um, Hobby Master and Forces of Valor. But again, for the 1 in 100 scale, uh, there's not a lot of model companies that make that scale. It's usually one, uh, 1 in 172, um, which, is a, which is also a good scale. But for me, I love the 1 in 100 scale. So let's take a look. This one did come uh, straight from Italy, so this is a little different. It does come in a blister package, but then you also get a very cool uh, magazine. Uh, all about the F-35A. So this is issue 43, and in it, I'll just go through it real quick, it just has a lot of uh, different information. It's all in Italian, unfortunately, so you can kind of just look at the pictures, but it has some information on the F-35A, uh, and then it has kind of a cool fold out there. So that's very cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't read most of it. So as far as the model itself, uh, one quick accessory is you do get the uh, the stand that they all come in, so F-35A Lightning, so very cool. Um, I have to say, again, Itolari did an amazing job with this model. The level of detail for this scale is perfect. Um, all the uh, grooves are painted in, all the different shading in the uh, panel, uh, the panel lining, I should say, is there. You have the big uh, air uh, refueling um, kind of decal right there, which looks great. Um, I'll probably take it off the stand in a second. Taking a look head on. Um, I really love the uh, the windows, nice and clean, with the paintwork going on the uh, canopy there, and then the nose looks very good. Um, obviously, this one is different from the uh, F35B, so here you can see that they sculpted in or added the internal um, cannon, which I think is a 25 or 20 or 25 millimeter cannon that only the F35 has the internal cannon. Um, the F35B has a gun pod in the belly, so that's cool that they actually added that. Uh, to this model, so uh, very cool. You also have the uh, the in-flight lights, red and green, which is cool. Um, on the tail wing, you have uh, all the uh, identifying uh, decals there. Underside, you have uh, United States Air Force, uh, the star. Looking at the underside, this is new too, that little bump um, in the back. I don't know what that is, maybe some sort of a sensor, but that is different from the F-35B variant. And again, even the underside, they could have really skimped out if they wanted to, but they've even detailed the underside with all that panel uh, lining, all the decals, so very cool. There you can see the internal uh, weapons bays, the doors there, um, you have another Air Force decal, and then you have some of those in-flight lights, the green lights. Then you also have the doors that hide the, uh, the gears. And then they've even added, just like the F-35B, a piece of glass for the big uh, sensor array on the nose. Um, let me take it off the stand real quick. And that's the other thing I like is these stands are real sturdy too. So great, uh, great stands that Itolari gives you. So again, here's just uh, kind of a top view of it. And then head on, they've even, uh, you know, painted in the uh, intakes, which is very cool. Looking at the side, you have the uh, rescue, all those small little decals there. And then on this side, same thing. Um, with the uh, weapon bay doors. So again, um, Itolari is such a great uh, model company. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that they've discontinued it. Um, the only uh, new ones are more of uh, European fighters um, that I've seen. 
but definitely um, these are hard to find but definitely if you can find them uh, pick them up because like I said if you're into this one in 100 scale um, the level of detail the cost they're a little bit more pricey now because they're discontinued um, but it's definitely worth getting so I would easily give this a 5 out of 5 and uh, definitely check out my F35B review my Artillery review of that so you can kind of see the uh, differences between the two models uh, just real quick there is the back of the uh, thruster there the engine again great detail they've actually sculpted in you know all those ridges by the engine so great model I think I even like this more than the F35B for my Tolari I just really like the look of this one uh, with all these panel linings and then especially that they sculpted in the uh, internal gun so hope everyone liked the video and thanks a lot for watching bye